What is going on guys? Ethereum hit new all-time highs this weekend. If you guys took the trades from Friday's videos that we gave you guys, congratulations. You deserve a pat on the back for entering those trades. Today, we're doing a recap of the price action over the weekend, exactly what happened with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Then we're going to jump into some uh, possible scenarios for this week, Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then, of course, we're going to end it, as always, with some trade setups to hopefully make all of us some profits this week. I hope you guys are excited as I am. Let's dive right in. Hey, what's up, guys? Jay here. Welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become a profitable and successful trader. If you're new here, the goal of this channel is to empower you with the resources and knowledge to help you get to that next level. So guys, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Make sure to turn on that notification bell so that you guys are notified as soon as we post these videos. We post Monday through Friday, five days a week. So today we're gonna be talking about Bitcoin and Ethereum. We're gonna do some analysis and some trade setups as well. So the first thing we're gonna cover is the trade recaps from the setups that we gave you guys on Friday for this weekend. So let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin first. As you guys can see, it's currently trading almost at 34,000. The trade that we gave you guys on Friday was an entry of 33K. So that was right about this Fibonacci level. And as you guys can see, we broke out of here and we ended up going way up here, almost hitting that next Fibonacci level at 35,000. So if you would have entered this, and wrote it all the way up, you would have done about 54, 55% if you were using 10X leverage like we do. If you entered Ethereum, so that, that was the only trade that we had for Bitcoin. If you entered e an Ethereum trade, the trade that we gave you guys, the first one was the breakout trade at 1280. If you guys entered at 1280, then that took off obviously all the way up to 1477 high. If you guys would have been able to write it all the way up, that would have been around a 76 and a half percent profit if you use 5X leverage. The second trade setups that we gave you guys was a support entry at 1200, right? So that would have been literally this right here. I know it, it's a, it was a tough one to enter since it was so fast, but if you did, if you were able to make that entry, you would have been able to ride this up all the way up here for guys 115 percent profits if you used 5x leverage so if you were able to take any of these three trades congrats guys if you missed these trades don't worry because it is a new day it is a new week and today we're giving you guys more trade setups for this week so let's jump right in. All righty, ladies and gents. So let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin here. It will be the first thing that we're looking at. As you guys can see, we're still consolidating within this channel here that we've been kind of speaking about. We've kind of just kind of been bouncing around here and it's been respecting both the top and the bottom of this channel. So when we're looking for an entry, we want to either be looking at entering something towards the bottom of the channel or on a breakout. So currently the breakout for this is probably going to be, this is gonna be a main area right here. As you guys know, we spoke about the last few videos, that $35,000 range is also the 38.2% Fibonacci zone. So it's going to be, there's gonna be a lot of price action here, right? Because you see here previously, uh, there's price action there, lots of price action there bunch of price action there lots of consolidation right then you can see the bounce here bounce here we've had bounces there bunch of price action here before we finally fell and then boom we have arrived once again and now not only do we have the price action do we have that resistance there but we have what's been a resistance a descending resistance right we have this resistance we've had three touches here and this is possibly the fourth touch here. So not only are we now fighting with this Fibonacci level, 
uh, resistance where we've had a bunch of price action but now we're also fighting this resistance where we've had a lot of touches as well you can expect here a lot of uh, consolidation is what i'm expecting um here but when we do break out of here when we do break out of this this area right here we can expect up uh, to possibly jump back up to around this range up here right that's the 23.6 percent zone and that's right around that 37 to 38k and then in order to get to 40 we got to break through there as well which would lead us up over here and then that's a whole other story but for now we got to focus on the first thing right so the first thing is trying to get through this so that's kind of what we're focusing on right now uh that's what we're watching it it's definitely a possibility to be rejected here and then to just kind of uh, fall back down, possibly test this uh, 30,000 range again if we're not able to, to get through here. So that's why that area right there this week is so, so important because depending on what happens here is what's going to happen next. So are we gonna, going to finally break out of this channel and retest previous all time highs? Or are we going to continue to, to use this, this channel, meaning that we'll, we'll continue kind of up and down, you know, for who knows how long. So if we continue up and down, that means that we're going to continue posting the lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, you know, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, and so forth. So that if if that's what ends up happening, you know, then that's a, you know, that'll be a bearish scenario for the short term. Right. So until we get somewhere where it just is able to push us back up and we're able to regain that momentum. So that's currently what we're watching this week in Bitcoin. Right. We want to see if we can break out of the channel or if we're going to continue posting these lower highs and lower lows which will send us a bit lower for the short term. The next thing is Ethereum. So on Ethereum here, it's kind of a different story. So as you guys know, Ethereum posted new all time highs yesterday. So we're very excited, but you know, it hasn't reached our, our target. Remember our target was up here around that 15 to $1,600 range. It's reached almost 1500. So that's definitely going to be a big number right there that 1500, but it's almost followed, you know, our breakout pattern that, you know, where we were kind of uh, expecting it to go. So right now what we're watching here on Ethereum is just kind of, it's going to consolidate. So we expect consolidation here. Uh, that's very normal after any big move up, right? So we have this move up consolidation, move up consolidation you can expect a bit more consolidation until it decides it picks a direction right whether to continue up or to retest lower levels so now as far as where i think it's gonna go it all is gonna be very dependent on what bitcoin does right so if bitcoin dumps then ethereum is also gonna dump right now it's not going to dump i don't think as far as it was here before because it's been posting lower i mean higher lows right so every dump it's a it's a little bit higher so it won't go to i don't believe it'll go back to this level if we dump again it'll probably dump to like the 1200 level right so it'll dump somewhere here if we were to dump it'll it'll be somewhere here like if for example if bitcoin goes back to thirty thousand ethereum will probably drop to 1200 or something like that right it, it, the max i think it'll drop maybe 1100 if bitcoin you know does what it did last time that it drops to like 28 but uh other than that you know ethereum has been looking very very strong so i believe we're gonna consolidate here and take off but it, like i said before it's very dependent on bitcoin so if bitcoin dumps we're gonna of course we're gonna go down as well but if Bitcoin consolidates, then we're going to consolidate a bit and then take off. If Bitcoin takes off, then we're also going to take off. So 
you know, the odds are stacked in favor of Ethereum for long. So there's no reason to look for any shorts here or anything like that right now. We're looking for it's going to be dependent on Bitcoin, unfortunately. So we're, we just have to kind of be patient. As long as Bitcoin does not dump, I believe Ethereum is going to break these new highs, break 1500 and then head for 16. And I believe if we break 1500, guys, 16 is, is just a short term uh, target. If we break 1600, then I definitely see us going all the way to $2,000 for Ethereum. So that's my longer term view on it right now. Like I said, we're, we're consolidating. It's going to be basically a bull flag here. And it's just a matter of time before we break up. All right, guys. So those are our price analysis on both Bitcoin and Ethereum, kind of what we're expecting. Now, I know you guys are waiting for these trade setups for this week. So that is what we're about to cover next. Guys, if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. Make sure to turn on the notification so that when we post up videos like this, which we do very often, you guys are notified as soon as a video goes up and you guys can catch these trade setups. I don't want you guys to miss out on these profits as it's happened a lot because people don't have their notifications on. So make sure to subscribe guys, make sure to turn notifications on and make sure to like this video. So you guys ready for some trade setups? I know we are. So let's go ahead and jump in with the trade setups that we're watching this week. Alrighty guys, so the first thing that we're going to be watching here is of course, the level that we've been speaking about, right? That 35,000 area which is the Fibonacci level. It's also this descending resistance. So there's a lot going on here, right? So our first trade in Bitcoin, of course, is going to be a breakout above 35,000. That's going to be the first trade that we're watching this week. That's going to be the breakout trade that we're watching for this week, a break above 35, which could then lead all the way up to that 37, 38 K range, which is the next level uh, as far as the Fibonacci levels, right? So that's the first trade that we're watching here. The next trade that we're going to be watching is towards the bottom of this range. As you guys can see here, there's been a lot of support and price action resistance. So this, this has played a little bit of a role in everything, right? So this area right here is right around that 32.6 to 32.8 K range, right? So that's kind of what we're going to be watching here. We like to see a test and a bounce right back over it. And that would be the that next range where we're, we're looking to enter, right? So that's right around that 32.7, 32.8, between 32.6 to 32.8 K is basically the range I'd say. If you just kind of wanna make it a little bit easier on yourself, you can use 33,000 as that number, the big whole number to play, right? Again, to recap, the, the breakout is 35 K. The support entry is going to be around that 33 K area for Bitcoin in Ethereum. So uh, the trades that we're looking at in Ethereum are going to be basically above this all time high, right? So right now there's going to be, I expect a lot of consolidation here. So entering at 1400 is going to be tough because you're going to need a pretty wide stop, right? Your stop's going to have to be like around over $20 basically, because at a minimum, you're going to want to have a stop below these candles right here, which are the lows of the day. So it's, it's a, a wide stop right now. You can expect to hit around 1440 within this range. As you guys, if you guys watch this range here, it's kind of going from 1440, 1450 to about that 1380, right? So, I mean, you can use that range, but again, it's it's a little, there's a, there's a lot of consolidation there. So if you have the risk tolerance for that, you can definitely enter here at 1400. Just make sure that you have a wide stop. Uh, make sure that you're taking profit towards the top of this range. So you're gonna be wanting to take profit up there. Make sure you have a stop down there, right? So the next natural entry is going to be above the previous all time high, which is, of course, going to lead to 1500. So you could either enter right above this candle, which is 1477. So I'd be thinking of around 1480 
or if you want to be a little bit safer, you can use 1500 as that breakout entry. Now, if we do see a dip down, then I'm looking at the areas here, that 1350 range, and then I'm looking at 1200. Those will be the two ranges that I'm looking for entries if we were to see some sort of dip down this week. And of course, we're always buying on the bounce up. You never want to look to buy on the way down because you don't know when that's gonna stop. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. I appreciate you guys watching this video all the way through. Hopefully you guys, we can make some profits, guys. We're watching these prices closely. We're giving consistent updates on our Instagram channel, so make sure to follow us on there. And of course, we have our trade group, which we share our exact positions that we take every single day in real time with our exact trade plans. Yeah, you can find the link for that in the description. Other than that, guys, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the video, guys, make sure to share it and turn on that notification bell. I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. I hope the rest of your week is amazing and you guys make so much profits that you just get become crypto millionaires. But that's it for us, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow on the next video, guys. As always, peace and love.